Hello everybody and welcome. I am the Beta Plan and this is Crusader Kings 2 with the Faerun mod installed. And this will be the last episode of this series. I know it's another somewhat short one and I apologize for that. Normally I'm well known for, well, finishing up my episodes, but... Well, the world is about to become familiar with the fact that it is... Well, falling to the hands of the Illithith. As we are going to grab the Empire of the Soul Coast within this episode. I uh, did do some conquering up here. I defended quite a bit against those lovely adventurers. And why do I say lovely adventurers? Well, <clears throat> I had some children. I created more set of morphoses, and actually, it was kind of funny. This person was a little older than this person when I created her. Though I created her later, this person actually was supposedly a younger child. But yeah, here are our children. Several of them already have died again, but interestingly enough, we've got one who is at least brilliant. Which I would say is a pretty good heir. And I think he will probably survive as this heir is 59, it's getting a little older. He should be good. He had a wife for a short moment, but unfortunately, she died of depression. Which, uh, by the way, uh, very young. But alright, um, we'll have to see about that. I also did some conquering up here, uh, as I said, and, uh, well, we've got quite a bit of the territory of the Empire of the Sword Coast. But we're not quite there yet. One thing we have, however, is a du jour claim on this guy. And why do we have that? Well, I did actually go ahead and create another kingdom title. For the moment, I have the kingdom of Illafar. So, we're gonna hope that we can press, press that claim. We know we will be able to do so. And then, uh, well, have uh, that be our opening to enter Never... Uh, sorry. Yes, Neverwinter. No, I'm right. I'm, now I'm getting confused. I have so many things I want to do this episode. But, uh, yeah, I will grab then Lyson so that I can fight up here uh, in the Elven territories because that is all still part of the Neverwinter Kingdom and thus part of the Empire of the Sword Coast. And that should get us enough. I am very interested. Oh, somebody just magically cured me of my gout disease. That is nice of them. Thank you. Uh, I'm currently momentarily waiting a little bit because I, uh, well, I have a few truce timers on, on long. One of them is this guy. Uh, it is with, actually, uh, currently a water deep with this dude and that dude. And that is what I'm waiting on. Uh, I'm not very keen on pressing here much forward. Not because I would like to get that duchy, but it is more like I kind of want this threat not to build up too, too high. Uh, I don't want to get into too much trouble when I go to war. Interestingly, I think Neverwinter is attacking Waterdeep. Yeah, they are attacking over the border dispute over the Red Cliffs. And I guess Waterdeep will be our next conquest as soon as this old gear will die. Because that will allow us to attack once again. In the meantime, by the way, we also have managed to make Candlekeep greater than it ever was before. And it might... And no, I'm, I'm pretty positive. In this episode, it will become greater than it ever can be. And on, on top of that, I have started to build a mausoleum. I mean, a palace for a lich. Yeah, it's not proper. It's not right. We need, we need a mausoleum. So that's what we're going to go with. Uh, the only disadvantage of them winning over here is that we won't be able to... Gain. Oh, that's within Waterdeep, but it's not the guy that I wanted to have die in Waterdeep. And if we need be, if need be, uh, I'll probably do a little cut in the video to make sure that we'll get there where we want to get there. But I think we can manage to do it all within this this video's proper time. And uh, yeah, I've also switched my focus. I've done that to theolo theology focus. Uh, one of the things I really want to get is some additional, uh, well, psionic mastery, because we need to get some psionic mastery in order to get that nice trait of, uh, get that nice empire title created, is what I wanted to say. Sorry. Uh, and yes, you can also get some nice traits, but that is, yeah, a little less. This is a little bit beside the point. So, we should be able to declare war, we have a du jour claim, all kinds of people will come in to defend you, which is a little poop, but we're just gonna have to live with it. Besides, you are a very small territory, and there's another one of those pesky, pesky adventurers who only give me children. I mean, uh, try to take land away from me. 
And but there is the victory already. Goodbye and good night. And that allows us to get over here. Now Neverwinter is unfortunately in the pact against us. So if we would declare war upon them, other people would come in to defend them. But I would like to be quick about this. Now I have to be careful because they are under control of Evermeet, so Evermeet will also come to their aid. But I say screw that. We need to get we need to grow and uh, we need to grow fast. Um you guys meet up over here. And let's get this show on the road. Besides, hey, if we can't do this with the force that we have, which haven't grown a lot because, well, most of our people, they can't really actually uh, kind of create uh, a lot of armies because they just don't have enough martial. We have a ton of money for mercenaries. By the way, apparently it's a bit odd. This is an elf. Right? Just a pure elf. I can perform Ceramorphos on her. But I can't perform Ceramorphos on this elf. We don't know why. Because I thought it was just not allowed to be elf. But that's apparently not the case. And I have no clue how this works. It bugs me a little bit. But alright. Um... Yeah, you've given that title up. Thank you very much. Uh, we will just find a random, and I do mean random, relative out there who is willing to govern for us in our name. I'm going to grant you the Crypt Garden Forest. And I think I will make this person, or this person, no, I'm looking for... I could just destroy it. I'm, I'm just going to destroy this title. It, it really doesn't matter. Boom. And then we're going to say, Hey, you dislike that I did that? No worries. I've got you here, your duchy title. Enjoy the Crypt Garden Forest. Duchy. So, basically only this duke is kind of unhappy. Because Illifarn is a really weird kingdom. Waterdeep lies in between. It kind of bifurcates it. Uh, but, yeah. Oh. That won't be an issue for much longer. Oh, uh, unfortunately, they already won this. I kind of had hoped to intervene in that war by declaring war on Neverwinter. So that we could say, no, 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 no. We want the other guys to win. Uh, by total strength, please. Thank you. We will take the Mississippi. And uh, embrace them as being a mercenary band for us. Why don't you go over here? I think we can all handle this. We just need to be a little bit more careful with our troop movement than we normally do. Because um, as these, some of these are also merchant republics, they also have independent armies of the families, which is going to add to their troop count, but not going to add up to our, uh, well, to our war score if we beat them. So let's gather up again. Oh, there is... Um, yeah, there are some serious significant armies over here. Uh, that's not what I wanted to do in that way. Ah, uh, now I retreated with no reason. Well, I think this is going to be the end of the episode of the series, definitely, because we're just about to kill one of the Silver Hands. Goodbye, no longer in the Alliance. It is over for you, darling. And uh, this is 11,000, because this is Evermeet. That is a significant amount of troops that I am not too keen to fight. I thought I hired you. Did I not? Did I disband them? I hope I did not. Here. Why don't you have some 5,000 mercenaries at our command, hmm? I know it looks dire right now, but it won't in the end. Don't worry about it. There we go. Candle keep. Level 4. Maximum, baby. And we're going to get maximum tech spread. I will show you a little later what I've all done with it. Yeah, you think you're winning, but you're not. 
what we need to do now is we need to find the right way to attack them. Which is go... We need to first traverse them. There it is. Pick up that. Pick that. Pick that. Oh, please don't. Attrition would be seriously non-fun. Okay, they're coming in uh, to us, but we have advantage of terrain. I will come duel him myself and I will show no mercy. Uh, their numbers might be so strong that we might have a trouble with it. We captured a ton of people. Nice ransom this prisoner, because we don't need much more. Uh, they beat us. I mean, we we won the battle, but they beat us. Severely. Like, that was not a good battle for us. Not by a long shot. Okay, so we got back the holdings. Uh, that was... Really, do we need even more mercenaries? I guess so. I did not realize... Oh. Shoot. Uh, ever, ever meet is just that powerful. Alright. Um. But what I feel we should do is keep them separated. And now they are separated. Because now he's gonna run in between these two holdings. Trying to capture back ev every time. And we're just gonna meet him up there. Yeah, this is fine. This is really good, actually. We'll take that battle. win this battle, and then they're gonna take a major river crossing penalty. And there is the army of Evermeet destroyed. And now we're gonna take this battle. Yeah, ever it's um, the biggest issue is just Evermeet, man. Uh, this is, they've hired mercenaries as well, because that's a mercenary captain. Alright. I have to admit, a little bit more costly than I had hoped, but the biggest issue of this cost is an Evermeet. Oh, that battle might not have been smart to take. But perhaps it will become a meat grinder. Oh, there is Waterdeep. Uh, changing off. Hold on. A little too many things happening at the same time. Uh, so Waterdeep got them themselves a new uh, person. So we could attack them again. Uh, but first, we're going to have to give out this land back. Because it always reverts back to us, because none of the AI understands how Cerebromorphus works. Which is also one of the reasons why I say th this series is going to end. It, it is an absolutely cool mod, but they are first going to have to... And I think that's really difficult to do, don't get me wrong. To, to find a way to teach the AI, if you're a uh, illative... You need to make babies by raiding and then performing Ceramorphus. Well, there we go. And let's battle this army again. This might not have been the best attack because these guys are coming in. But I think they're going to come in too late. Um, died in a chaotic field of battle. Killing each other. Unfortunately, because this was one of the better ones we had. Uh, but now we can give... I don't want to land my son, by the way, this son. Because every time I land the son, they die. But you know what? I will land... I, I should do something better for my eldest son. Why don't you take this? And I will grant you the duchy title. The duchy of the Black Lands. Because he already managed in my other country to flip the religion around. So I'm already pretty pleased with that. So he can rule over that as a duke. I am a-okay with that. And yes, he has a lot of claims because, well, constantly there his brothers or sisters died. There is Neverwinter itself. 
there is this guy also yet again. Uh, I don't want to win the war actually by... Yeah, I hold 100% because I hold him prisoner. Come on, that's not how I wanted to win the war. I wanted to win the war fair and square, so to speak. Like, not by having him prison, whatever. We're just gonna take this. It's now ours. And we're gonna send home all of this. Uh, all the mercenaries and stuff I might want to keep around and straight up attack for this t territory. First, I'm going to revoke your titles for a moment. How much do we now own of the Empire? Nearly enough. So yes, I should immediately attack for these holdings. Interestingly enough, you belong to Ever Meet, the Kingdom title. So this is directly attacking the Empire. And because of that, I think it's actually going to be a little bit more interesting for us. Uh, this is a proper feudal holding. This also is a feudal holding. This is just... Fomorian. Oh, the giants. Okay. Um, let me just check. You have... You're both pretty weak. This is due to owner martial skill, this is due to being the Fomorian culture. But alright, you, I will declare a direct war with you. See, and nobody else is gonna come in there. Because Evermeet is its own big empire. And it, I wasn't bordering them a while a moment ago. So they're like, hey, we're not in this freaking defensive thing yet. Nope, you aren't. And that it gives me all the reason to immediately attack. Now, this uprising a little annoying. Won't lie. I did not realize Skull Gorge was mine. I really don't need Skull Gorge. Um... That is a little bit of an annoyance. Skull Gorge, transfer of Azalej of the Skull Gorge. Thank you. I just gave this away and I still have 8 out of 7? <laughs> oh, because I hold you. Yep, alright. Because county-wise it should now be right. Oh, snap. No! Nope. No, you don't. No, you don't. Oh, we lose Roth. There we go. Keep this information for myself. And we can stand all of this down. Once again, stand it down. And then with Caramel Keep, we're going to build the last one. This is the Natural Science Collection. And as you can see... There are no more tech spreads off the top of here. We've built all of them. We're going to complete this soon. And everything else is full of tech spread along with the tavern. So that is pretty awesome. What the heck is happening here? In the board dispute, but you're awfully dying to that, that little count. But uh, we got at least this also taken care of. And I'm going to just execute you because we have no use for you. And we really ought to give this land away because we also have no use for that particular piece of land right now. I'm going to give it this to this paladin. Because he has a marshal. There you go. We're going to rename your house. I, I have stopped changing the shields because they constantly keep on dying. And it really... Kill a little. Mm, uh, there you go. Whatever. And there is Evermeet. Again. Hmm. Are my mercenaries going to hold on to this? Because we do have advantage of terrain. And, and we did just beat them. Oh, laddie, hey. Oh, laddie, oh. And there is the first. Um, the battle has been won. Otis and Tarum is fighting uh, against our... And the border dispute. 
Yeah, my vassals are finally starting to uh, realize they actually have some power. I'm going to raise the vassal troops because I see that those are pretty okay in their health. Like there, there's an enough of a... F uh, how shall I put it? They haven't lost that much troops to our, our previous big war. Uh, so we can call upon them and, and be fine. Um, but I want the forces here. There we go. Dragon Spear also converting. Also very nice to see. We can move around a little bit, folks. Uh, oh, yeah, I already thought, like, this seems a little on the, the low side, which it is. We're gonna let them suffer attrition for, uh, for a moment and wait for my forces to arrive. As ever meat will be, um, will be unable to defend itself. As we here take to the battle and defeat their forces once more, and thereby also probably teaching Neverwinter the uh, Evermeet, sorry, the important lesson not to mess with us. Oh! A great house? Wait, was that a water? Did the silver hand change to No. The silver hand did not change to it. I killed her. By the way, I killed... Uh, I fought another member of them somewhere else in a battle, but... That may have been one of her family line. Yeah, sorry, this one. Uh, I was like, I killed the second brother, didn't I? No, I, I did not kill this second brother. I killed the other second brother. Uh, but yeah. Killing one of the silver hands is a uh, felt pretty bad idea to attack. Bad idea to attack, and I just inherited another duchy, I realize. So over here. Oh no, not the duchy that was attacking. That is unfortunate. Why did you die? You hold all the counties. You hold all the counties, dude. Why did you die? Oh, noble, 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 noble. You could be asking, why do you do this? And I would say that's a good question. Normally, you need, and now I have to quote from Hart, and I might be wrong on that, so for forgive me, but I think about 15 stewardship, you get the best chance of people converting towards your, to get the event that people convert towards your culture. So like, the, you get the, uh, uh, what's it called again? Civilized peasants. Uh, uh, event isn't what I call it. It's pro has a probably a different name, but that's what you say when you click on OK and, and uh, you continue. And I, I that event triggers only if you have enough stewardship. So this is why I'd like to give people with high stewardship some land. And yes, I'm going to also transfer the Zalich of the Stonewood to you. Because that's why you all of a sudden... Uh, sorry, the Southwood, not the Stonewood. Uh, why you could attack the Zentarum and why the stone would never did because they were just too weak. So I would like to have a strong Dutch here. It does give me quite a few additional troops right now, which, uh, I have to admit, they are welcome. Certainly after this incredibly botched attack upon, uh, the doors here. Alright, now, now that I've done this, I'm going to say yo mercenaries i have too many of you goodbye good night i love you but not right now all right so um uh, this is my fall in forces 52 we need a new steward well that is an excellent steward that we just gained so let's use them And I hope with the conquering conquest of this county, which we should be done, but I'm not sure. And after that, of course, I do want to capture in this episode still Waterdeep and uh, uh, Neverwinter. But I think that I have to say that is has to be added on the top of this, uh, the end of this episode.
Well, you probably already noticed that from this episode when you're watching it, how long it is, because I don't know yet. I just noticed that I have already 25 minutes recorded, and that Evermeet is being very uppity about giving this away. Oh, gosh, immediately attrition. And that was one of my very good... That's one of my court physician. And I'm just not lucky with changing, converting the faith around here. I mean... Look at it. Faith is definitely spreading, huh? It, this is not a problem. I'm just... I'm being very unlucky with my particular court chaplain who has a 4% chance to convert it, but is just not doing it. And I've been playing this game already for quite some time. Um, yeah, whenever whenever they got over here, I reckon, when they, they uh, vassalized, if you will, Neverwinter, they, they didn't really vassalize them, but uh, made them pay tribute. That's the word I was looking for. They probably said like, "Hey, okay, now that I've done this, now that we've done this, uh, elves, why don't you become part of our, our uh, part of our, our, our region of Evermeet?" And they were like, "Yeah, sure, we'll do that." I'm just surprised how little war score I'm gaining. I've done enough battles. I'm not gonna sail over to them. That is just gonna be painful. Mirabar. Silver hand. Silver hand, you destroyed the kingdom of Mithroho. Uh also interesting that it was inherited by uh, Silver Hand, then somebody else went for the claim and now it is no longer existent. But Mirabar itself is now a super huge duchy. Oh no, please don't. That is the good air. He's even a wizard now. I mean, come on. He's good. Don't kill him. I beg of you. I'm not the begging kind as an Illithith. Don't kill me. You want to gain a title. Look, I'm not against that, to be honest, but... I could just bop this little army. I inherited that county back, right back uh, to me, alright. I kind of want somebody here that's... Look, you're not the best in stewardship, but you will give me some troops out of this area, and that could be good, and you will be able to hold it a little better. Evermeet, how is you with your troops? Still significant enough in size that I'm not willing to let this army go bye-bye right now. And all the free troops that I gained. There's 100%. Alright, hold on. There we go. So we board dispute you. We're going to revoke you. We're going to stand down the army. But our forces definitely need to uh, replenish. There we go. We could give it to my son, I am aware he wants a title, but I'm not gonna give him this title, I'm sorry. That is just not in the cards for him right now. I would rather give him Waterdeep or give him Neverwinter, one of the two. But we're gonna give Neverwinter Wood over here. You probably know that if you ever played Neverwinter yourself. So, next thing. <coughs> there it is, just in the nice playing time so that I can uh, go off camera and finish it up. But there we go, Empire of the Sword Coast. Ladies and gentlemen, we are an imperial title. The imperial title of the Sword Coast. There it is. We're changing to blue. Yeah, I'm fine with that. And we can have an additional advisor. No longer problems with the amount of people we have. And once, once these uh, dukes die, well, then it will come back to us. And we can hold on to those titles nowadays. And now we have a lot of the Jure claims. Because it is all ours, baby. So, Waterdeep. I have the, the Jure claim on you. Yeah, never winter will come in and a lot of people, but... I'm gonna do this. But I will do a little bit of a time skip. And uh, I'll see you... You will see uh, the wondrous conquests that are to follow.
And here we have arrived at the height of the power of the Illithid Empire, owning the Kingdom of Neverwinter, the Kingdom of Waterdeep, the Kingdom of Daggerford, Baldur's Gate included, we own the Sword Coast. It is indeed a terrifying world. I say I thank you for watching and remember, great peril yields great beauty.